Hey guys, as always, thanks for stopping by. So Sniffin' Joe has said he's going to ban the online sales of all Rudy Tooty Point and Shooties, Freedom Seeds, as well as all the accessories that you and I both love so much. Let's talk about that. In today's video, I'm going to get you up to date about what people are talking about today. This morning, the internet got stirred back up over what Sniffin' Joe has said. He said this for a while, what he's going to be doing. But I'm going to tell you about it. I'll get you up to date. But the most important part is what I'm going to give you at the end. I'm going to drop some knowledge. I don't say that very often, but I'm going to get you equipped with some information, some knowledge that really is going to change how you and how I view this whole situation. It's important, and you're going to be the only one tomorrow with the water cooler talking about it. So this should be fun. Buckle up. Hey, today's episode is brought to you by Flatline Fiber Company, makers of some awesome sewn gear. I showed them to you last week, and y'all loved them. Brace straps, ear pro wraps, and my favorite, their multi-cam rifle slings. Free shipping on all orders, and take 10% off your order with code SHAZAM10. That makes me very happy to say Big thank you to Flatline Fiber. Again, I showed them to y'all last week, and they hollered on Tuesday or Wednesday, and they said, wow, your people are awesome, and y'all are, and it's great products. I really recommend their rifle straps. Jump over there, check them out. There's a link right down below. What's in my lap is about to fall on the floor, so I'm doing my best. I'm trying to hold it all together, what I have to show you at the end. There's a lot going on today. Sniff and Joe has said that he's going to ban the online sales of everything. And I know there's a few things that we got to just establish right up front. There's a few caveats. Yes, I know that all of the stuff is still going on. You don't have to type it. I know what the T-man said this morning. I know. I get it. But he did say this. Sniff and Joe did say that he's going to ban all online sales. But I know there's a lot to it, a lot of moving parts. I know he's not the president yet. And I know that Kamala's probably going to be the president in about 13 minutes after the inauguration. I get all of that. However... Let me get this on your radar because regardless of who is in the Oval Office in the coming four or eight years, what I'm going to share with you at the end does trump, no pun intended, all of that. But it's back in the news today that he, Sniffin' Joe, is going to ban all online Rudy Tootie sales. Now, that's a little silly because you can't, the president can't, he's, not, he's the executive branch, he's not the legislative branch, you can't just ban it with an executive order, although the whole executive order thing has gotten a little bit gray area in times past. But here is what he said as part of his campaign platform was to end all online sales of all G's, all of them, as well as all ammo and freedom seeds, all of them, all kits and all parts. Now the parts thing is really interesting to end the sales of all parts because what constitutes, constitutes a part? Is that brace strap I talked about at the beginning? Is that a part? In the grand scheme, that's going to get really, really interesting. But that's what Sniff and Joe said he's going to do. Now, liberal gun owners won't admit that. There's a few liberal gun owners out there. Even on the subreddit, liberal gun owners, it's a subreddit on Reddit. If you even mention the reality of what Joe even said in his own website, they boot you off of there immediately. Google, if you will Google a little bit about Joe, Google will say, the actual company Google has on their main search engine, that Joe is pro-gun and that he is a centrist. They won't admit what they're talking about, but what Joe has said he's going to do is bad, it's dangerous, and would alter how we do our day-to-day -day lives greatly. It really would. It would affect how I run this channel. It would affect how you all do. It's not a hobby, but the hobby parts of it, the Saturday afternoon fun parts of it, would change drastically. I do realize this is, has very little to do with hobbies, but there is a hobby aspect to it. Sunday afternoon plinking and all, all that sort of stuff. But it would change things tremendously, and that's why we're watching. Now, they also talk a little bit about the gun show loophole. That's a myth. It doesn't exist. Also, the whole idea of online sales is silly because there is not a criminal in the history of criminals that is going to order their tool for doing their crime in an online store, have it shipped across state lines to their FFL, go into the FFL, fill out the paperwork, pass a 4473 background check, and then walk out of there and then go do a drive-by with their Tech 9. That's not how it works. Not remotely how it works. So Sniffin' Joe's rules would only affect us. 
I know y'all don't like to call it being called law-abiding citizens, but you understand what I'm saying. It only affects the good guys. It doesn't affect criminals at all. Google Google Joe and about his about his actual beliefs, and it gets to be kind of funny. Now, what's it really about? It's about control, and it's about devastating our industry. Backdoor control. Backdoor, total backdoor control. I wrote the noun restrictions, like totally restricting everything. So that's the overall idea of what people are talking about today is Joe said he's going to ban all online sales. It's going to be big and it will be a major fight. But here is the good news. This has already been dealt with. In 2019, the SCOTUS offered an opinion and it was a pretty big opinion paper. I'll link to it right down below. It's called the Tennessee Wine. It's not a decision, but it's the Tennessee Wine paper, the Tennessee Wine opinion. And it has to do with interstate commerce. And the idea, and it does have to do with wine and alcohol sales, but Judge Alito said very clearly that it has nothing to do with just alcohol sales. It has to do with all interstate commerce. Now, it's a big, big paper. We probably, I probably should do a full episode on it. I might. But the idea is this, is that interstate commerce cannot really be regulated by the Fed. You can't ban interstate commerce, especially direct-to-door commerce. So the idea is this, Joe can do whatever he wants, but prepare for it instantly to be overturned in court. It will not hold up because of the Tennessee wine ruling. I'm going to put a link to it down below. Again, it's big, but I want you to be armed with that idea. It's called the Commerce Clause. And it needs to be in all of our arsenals and in all of our, in the front of our minds. We need to understand it, need to read a little bit more. I do short form videos. This is probably a 30 minute video it would be if we talked more about the Commerce Clause. But again, the idea is this, is you can't restrict. And you can't. One state can't make a ruling of what other states send cross lines. And also the federal government can as well. You can't make a decision. Now that started with just wine, but again, the justices said it, it applies to all of interstate commerce. So the Fed can't just make a ruling and say, hey, no more online sales. Nope, they can't do that. This has already been ruled by the Supreme Court. And it's important to notice that this might have been the most important Supreme Court ruling in the last entire year, maybe multi-years for the 2A. This one is huge and people aren't talking about it. They really aren't. Now you may say this, hey Johnny, if you know this sitting here in Murder Hallway, not to be confused with chilies. How does uh, Sniffin' Joe not know about it? Well, he probably does, but that doesn't matter. Reality doesn't matter. He's trying to raise support and raise finances and raise a war chest to beat the T-Man. So it doesn't have anything to do with whether they're actually going to get this executive order or legislation through. It has to do with the idea of pretending to what they're going to fight for. We're going to get those bad G's off the street. So it's all a scam. But what's not a scam is that Tennessee wine ruling. And that is an important one, big time. I want that to be on your radar. I got, if I can get them back together, I got all three of these in the mail. And this was really, really cool. I did a 4473 for all three of these. I don't have uppers because they're nowhere to be found in America right now. But these were acquired via e-commerce across state lines. I did 4473 background check on all three of these. They're legal. To anyone that is against us or our ability to order whatever we want, whenever we want, and however we want across state lines, yeah, from my cold, from my cold dead hands. And I do mean that one. That's This is not a good idea that Sniff and Joe has on this one. All of us should say, surrounded by a gomer pile of hot brass. See y'all. Bye. For my cold dad.